in which one of the following tissues of the barley seed, amylase gene, is induced in response to GA? A. Endosperm B. Coleoptyne C. Alluron layer D. Embryo In barley seeds, the induction of alpha amylase gene in response to gibberellic acid, GA, occurs in the alluron layer. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. During seed germination, GA promotes the breakdown of stored starch in the endosperm to provide nutrients for the developing embryo. The alluron layer, which is a single layer of cells between the endosperm and the embryo, plays a critical role in this process. In response to GA, the alluron cells synthesize and secrete alpha amylase, an enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of starch into glucose and maltose. The glucose and maltose are then transported to the embryo and used as a source of energy for growth and development. The coleoptile, option B, is a structure that protects the emerging shoot of the germinating seed and helps it emerge from the soil. The embryo, option D, is the developing plant inside the seed, while the endosperm, option A, is a tissue that provides nutrients for the developing embryo. Although these tissues play important roles in seed germination, they are not the site of alpha amylase gene induction in response to GA. The photosynthetic assimilation of atmospheric CO2 by leaves yield sucrose and starch as end products of two gluconeogenic pathways that are physically separated. Which one of the following combinations of cell organelles are involved in such physical separation of the process? A. Sucrose in cytosol and starch in mitochondria. B. Sucrose in chloroplasts and starch in cytosol. C. Sucrose in mitochondria and starch in cytosol. D. Sucrose in cytosol and starch in chloroplasts. In photosynthetic assimilation of atmospheric CO2 by leaves, sucrose and starch are the end products of two gluconeogenic pathways that are physically separated. Sucrose is synthesized in the cytosol, while starch is synthesized in chloroplasts. Therefore, the correct answer is option D, sucrose in cytosol and starch in chloroplasts. During photosynthesis, CO2 is assimilated into glucose 6-phosphate in the chloroplasts through the Calvin cycle. This glucose 6-phosphate is then transported to the cytosol, where it is converted into sucrose through a series of enzymatic reactions. The sucrose is then transported to other parts of the plant for use or storage. In parallel, in the chloroplasts, glucose 6 phosphate is further converted into glucose 1 phosphate, which is then polymerized to form starch. Starch is stored in the chloroplasts as insoluble granules and can be mobilized when needed for energy. Therefore, the synthesis of sucrose and starch occurs in different cellular compartments and is physically separated. Sucrose is synthesized in the cytosol and transported to other parts of the plant, while starch is synthesized in chloroplasts and stored there. Which one of the following is not involved with the pacemaker potential of heart? A. H. Channel B. Transient Calcium Channel C. Long-lasting Calcium Channel D. F. Channel The pacemaker potential of the heart is generated by the specialized cardiac cells called the synotrial, SA, node. The SA node depolarizes spontaneously, generating a pacemaker potential that triggers the contraction of the heart. The pacemaker potential is caused by the opening and closing of various ion channels. Among the ion channels listed, the long-lasting calcium channel is not involved in the pacemaker potential of the heart. The correct answer is option C, long-lasting calcium channel. The pacemaker potential of the SA node is generated by the opening of two types of ion channels, 
the F channel and the transient calcium channel. The F channel is a non-selective calcium channel that is permeable to both Na plus and K plus. When the F channel opens, Na plus influx exceeds K plus efflux, causing depolarization of the membrane potential. The transient calcium channel is a voltage-gated calcium channel that opens when the membrane potential reaches a threshold. Calcium influx through the transient calcium channel further depolarizes the membrane potential, generating an action potential. The H-channel is a hyperpolarization-activated cyclic nucleotide-gated HCN channel that is also involved in the pacemaker potential. The H-channel is activated by hyperpolarization and cyclic AMP and its opening contributes to the slow depolarization phase of the pacemaker potential. Therefore, among the listed ion channels, the long-lasting calcium channel is not involved in the pacemaker potential of the heart. Alright, enjoying the video, right? So, this kind of questions are there. And not only part B questions, you'll get part C questions. Along with that, you'll get study guide. You'll get CSI net heat map analysis, which is Shomu's biology trademark. You'll get everything from Shomu's biology test series programs. If you want to join online test series, at a very affordable price every details there in the description as well as in this video call in this given number or whatsapp in this given number so that you get all the details and get into the shomu's biology online test series program first 10 students will get some special discount